think you read them, divide them into two categories. The sutra sutra that we call cut down in the correct sutra and then the passive sutra that I'll define later. And then the percutaneous techniques with the sutra maybe the third devices, such as pro star and pro black, and the 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 rings and the list plug and patch mediated devices such as manta, paper seal, and uh, pin seal. Uh, this is the cut down on the left there. You will see. You have the vessel and then the clamp and vessel loops, and then this is when it's been closed afterwards. This is what you want. Um, uh, the main advantages that uh, we cut down is uh, direct visualization of the vessel, bleeding to and being secure, and the vessel wall anatomy, such as the nurses, or unless it can be corrected. The disadvantages are increased blood loss compared to percutaneous degree. Post-operative pain, increased risk of infection, and prolonged hospital stay, and scar tissue formation. Uh, this is a fossil suture of uh, Thomas Larson, who introduced this uh, in 2006. It's an incision in the skin and uh, sectioned down to the level of the cubicle and fascia. With a, you place a first screw sliding suture to close. And, uh, this after you've done the procedure, um, you have the cuneiform fascia in the bottom here, and then you make your first string suture, tighten it down, and pull out the uh, catheter, and you still have your guide wire there. And then at that point, you have to decide if you want to remain and have your guide wire, wire in place, or if you're satisfied with the hemostasis, you don't have to do anything else, then you pull it out and you tie the knot, and you have this. Uh, Small cavity that you have to close the skin on. The next, uh, the main advantage of this is it's quicker than the cut down. It's a no touch technique. It can also be used in calcified vessels. There's no procedure. It works well in emergency situations. Um, there's no cost compared to closure devices, and you have the guide wire in place if you wish. The main disadvantage is that it performs poorly if the puncture is too high. Of course, to the angular and whole ligament because then the fascia is very, is very thin. And also, it does not perform well if there's a massive mm -hmm. hematoma because then the fascia is lifted and you don't get the, you take the suture on either side of the vessel and you pull the cribbed front fascia down towards that. And if you have blood in between, you're not getting good closure. And then the next uh, device on the, rise, on the list is a Suture mediated closure device, and this, this is the pro glide made by Epic. It's a device positioned inside the vessel by a foot plate. You see, foot plate is there, and the uh, retrograde needles penetrate the vessel wall, and the sutures are mounted outside the vessel. Just read you through this. This is the uh, guide wire, and uh, there is pro glide. The, the steps are numbered, and this is the, the pressure on when you're going to close the suture, and then you also have a knife to cut. And then here, and this, after you've taken out the guide wire and you have it in place, you put the push down, pull back, and then you go to the next step, which is to cut the wire, and, and you, you have to have a, about a 45 degree angle. And you want to place it at uh, 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock or at medium and lateral. And then you have those proofs at the head of time. And then afterwards, you put in your catheter and then you can do whatever procedure you wish. Um, this is at the end of the procedure. You can type it. So you see, you have a suture on the screen there. You tighten that and then if you tighten that to get the satisfied with that, you can cut the suture and then this is what it looks like. And then the main advantages here are it's a pretty heavy technique. It uses up to 24 French punch holes and leaves just a suture inside the vessel. The main disadvantage is that it was put on poorly in classified vessels. There is a learning curve, uh, and you have to remember the regulation and placement. And there's a cost, so uh, often you have to use more than two four guys in each. Right, and this is not well fitted for the emergency situation, uh, the procedure of disease. Um, and then I just want to show some results about the suture and the closure device. Uh, there is 
We went through 22 papers and identified a system, systematic review where we found that there was a patient selection. In seven of the cases, they did not have calcification on the included population in the study. In five, they avoided scar tissue, and in three, they avoided abnormal artery aneurysms. And uh, the devices used was 19 of ProStar of 22 and three of ProBlight. That was in 2010. At this time, the point in time, they would probably use the opposite. Mean. Most people would be using ProBlight. Uh, the results, overall uh, success rate was 92%. Uh, with significant better results for ProBlight and uh, also for complications, 0.4%. And ProBlight was also the best thing. Um, then we go to the next category, which is called plug and patch mediated closure devices. Uh, here you have a market called Manta. It's a reservable uh, collagen based plug outside the vessel. The main advantage is short learning curve, rapid hemostasis, no pre suturing, and you can use it up to 25 French. Uh, there are some disadvantages. There's a big intraluminal toggle. This one and it can attack the platelets and thrombus formation, especially in shock patients. And then you have restrictions for re access due to the bad weather loss. Um, then we have the preacher seal, which is an absorbable patch inside the vessel lumen. Where the main advantages are no pre suturing, you can use it up to 20 foot French. And the disadvantages are needing foreign material inside the vessel movement and the restrictions for re access. And then the third device I'm going to present is a thin seal. It's a nitinol stent frame with a bioresorbable membrane in the vessel movement. Uh, advantages here are delivery through existing sheet, no pre suturing, and up to 21 French. Uh, disadvantages, uh, again, leaving foreign material inside the vessel and restrictions for the access. <laughs> and then the status of these three last mentioned devices is that the Manta is now CE marked and it uh, has demonstrated rapid and reliable hemostasis and complication rates in non inferior to surgical and surgical media closure devices. And in Europe, it's probably it has been deployed about 8,000 times. The other two are Percusil and Insil are commercially available. Uh, they haven't been, they haven't been deployed much yet. Um, and the most likely more devices are under development. And then um, here I would like to just present uh, we use a lot of probe light when we do our. We do our projects and uh, so I, I have a six-year experience here that I would like to present from, from our center and where we have 868 drones, 40, 434 patients uh, and uh, we were relatively high volume center in the last report from the Norwegian Vascular Society we were number two in volume on the uh, awareness and we, we do mostly elective uh, because the uh, ruptures, we, we don't have a 24 7 uh, endovascular unit, so we, we usually do the uh, rupture uh, uh, as open. And uh, also, we're a small team, so we have few people uh, doing many procedures. So, um, the inclusion of this study was AAA eligible for EVAR, age over 65, and then there was a tension, intention to treat all comers with ProBlight. We, we did this. Uh, uh, select away any patients that we thought would give uh, poor results. Uh, the exclusions were small bore access hole under the main fringe, uh, primary indication for TO bypass, uh, protocol violation, or organizational error. Uh, here, uh, this algorithm, to try to walk you through it, uh, we, we had screened 434 patients, 868 clients. The first I the previous slide that showed what we excluded, and then we had intention to treat 846 patients. And of these, we had to do open repair of 1%, and that left us with 99% of 237 to be treated with worldwide. 
um, that we had an additional number that required a continued care. And this gave us a primary pro-life technical success rate of about 68%. But with assisted percutaneous technique, we came up. There was about 28%. We came up with 95%. Of these 27%, 21% of those, we had to add an additional uh, uh, angio seal to, to get um, hemostasis in a growing for a while. And uh, we had feeding complications at 30 days at about 92.3%. A uh, summary of pro-glide is a primary pro-glide success rate, 67%, is lower than that's been reported in the literature. And that's probably because we have these other treatment modalities. We have pro-glide, uh, uh, I mean, angio seal, and then we have hemcon, hemcon with a, a, a clamp. And then sometimes we'll use feed thermostat, and uh, sometimes uh, when we have a we go on to the open procedure, either with a trust is or a cut down. But by using adjunct methods, optical success was increased to 95%. Uh, conclusions then are that percutaneous access closure methods can achieve good results. Probe light itself is associated with high failure rates if it is used on all comers with large floor access and need adjunct procedures for success. New technology and devices are entering the market with worldwide data still missing, and open surgery and conventional cut down and plastic secure is a valid option. I think that was the last slide. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any comments, questions, remarks? Yeah.